everyone, Letty here. I'm gonna do a craft with me video today where we make some Valentine's Day bag toppers. So the collection I'm using today is Crepe Paper's La La Love. I had this chipboard pieces that I wanted to try to use up for the Smash Our Stash 2021 collab this month. The, the theme this month was 3D embellishments. So I took off this entire uh, 12 by 12 um, chipboard and I wanted to try to use it up. So these first doilies that I'm using are from Target that I purchased a few years ago. I'm also using these holographic doilies by Martha Stewart from Michaels. And then I'm, I also die cut some uh, stitch scallop circles. So basically I'm gonna layer all three, fold it in half, and then add decoration to the top. So let's get started. First thing, is, the first step we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna fold all the doilies in half. So then you layer them on top and then we'll decorate, but that'll be the next step. So first thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold everything. I'm gonna assembly line this just like I normally do. We're gonna be making five bag toppers total because that's how many medium size chipboard pieces that I have left. And you'll see at the very end, I do have three really large um, chipboard pieces left over, but I'll be using those on a separate project. So I'm almost done just folding everything in half. And you don't have to make five at a time. You could just do one if you wanted to. Second step is we're gonna basically adhere the doily layers together. So that way they're all one unit. Now the key here is that you only want to glue down the top two layers. You do not want to put any adhesive under the, the bottom doily because you actually want to leave it open so that way you can stick your bag right in the middle um, and glue it later. You can either glue it or just you know add it to the top of something to a bag and then maybe use a paper clip um, or just leave it loose, either way. I really like these uh, holographic doilies. I don't know that they sell them anymore because I think they had them on clearance a while back. But when I purchased them, I did buy them from Michaels. So if you have these in your stash, these are great to use for bag toppers. So all of my bag topper foundations are now ready to decorate. It's such a cute bag topper. So next step is going to be, we're going to go ahead and decorate each bag topper. Now I'm showing you here where you could just use a piece of ephemera or cut apart and put it on top and make it kind of basic. You absolutely could do that. And they look so cute either way because of the three layers that we have on this bag topper. And you don't have to just do three layers. You could do more, but because I wanted to try to use up these chipboard pieces, I will be using a chipboard piece on each one. The wet glue I'm using is the Barely Art glue. I really like this glue. I've been using it for um, over a month now and I really, really, really enjoy it. So I'm just adding different layers of different types of 3D embellishments and stickers and, um, die, you know, die cuts or cut aparts to the tops of my bags. So I already have one down. I'm working on my next one. Now I did also take out some additional items from Dollar Tree, which are these uh, glitter foam stickers. I use some felt stickers um, and just, a, just a, you know, a couple different items. Um, now, one thing I will be doing later is I will also add some jemmies to these, but I usually, when I'm gonna be adding jemmies to anything, to any project, I like to do it all at the same time, whether it's cards or any type of project. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna do them at the very, very end. I'll do I, all five at once and I'll add jemmies to all five uh, bag toppers. And again, this was for the Smash Our Stash 2021 uh, collab that I'm participating in this, this year. Um, this month's theme was for 3D embellishments. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in, I'll link it down in the description box below. Definitely check it out. And there are tons of collaborators that are participating in this collab. Definitely check their videos out as well. I'll have links to all of those participants in that video that I'll link down below. Um, so you definitely want to check it out. In that video, you'll be able to see all of the different projects that I made with this one 12 by 12 chipboard uh, stickers from the Crepe Paper La La Love collection. And I made them all this month. So you'll be able to see all of them. They're, they're really fun projects. They're all Valentine projects obviously because of the collections. Now, because of, I'm gonna be using a little bow, I'm actually gonna be adding a little glue dot to it. I have used this Barely Art glue to glue down bows before and it does work. The only thing is, is you do have to let it dry for a few minutes and I'm in a bit of a hurry here as far as trying to assemble everything. So I ended up just using a glue dot as default. And you see here, I'm also bringing in some puffy stickers. Um, I also brought in some of the table scatter from Dollar Tree. I, I really kind of went to town when it 
different with different types of embellishments to decorate these. And again, you can add as many layers as you want. I've seen people add rosettes on top of these uh, bag toppers. You can add, you know, multiple, multiple layers. Um, really, it's, you know, the sky's the limit on this. You can add as much or as little as you want. And because the foundation is so pretty, because of the different layers of the doilies or the circles, um, it really, really looks pretty either way. So you have so several options there. So I did already go in and finish all five of the bag toppers, but I noticed that I had a few smaller chipboard pieces left. So I went ahead and took them out and, and added them to a couple and just added some more layers to a couple of those bag toppers. So these are the three big remaining chipboards that I have left over. You will see in that um, other video that I end up doing rosettes with those that I'll link down below again. Um, and then I, these are some jemmies that I bought from Hobby Lobby. I bought them on sale half off. Um, and I love using these in all of my projects. So step number four for me in, in almost every single project, the last step is to add bling. So I love adding jemmies or enamel dots or sequins to my projects. And here in this project is no different. I'm actually adding some of these little gems to each of these bag toppers. And I, again, you'll see here that I am using this Barely Art Glue. I do find that it dries really well. Um, it does take just a few seconds, but it ends up drying uh, really well. And, and, and I don't really have any issues with it, even to add these big bulky, uh, you know, gems. So we're just about done. I will end up having a close up of all the bag toppers at the very, very end, uh, just as a heads up. So if you, you wanna kind of see, I'll slow down just a bit and I'll show you what each of these bag toppers do look like. And you can absolutely uh, do these types of bag toppers for any season, any reason, any theme, any type of paper, uh, any collection, any color doilies, any color circles. Um, you have so many options with these. And these are really, really a lot of fun to make and very, very easy. As you can see here, I put them together pr relatively quickly. If you've never made a bag topper, I really do challenge you to try to make some. They are a lot of fun. So those were the five bag toppers that I made. Here's a little close up. You can see here they're they're pretty dimensional again you can even make them even more dimensional i was just trying to use up what i had and my goal here was to use up those chipboard pieces which i did do an extra little dent in that uh, chipboard so that was great and there's our final one so there are my valentine's day bag toppers thanks for visiting everyone hope you subscribe to my channel like this video and follow me on instagram thanks and happy crafting